Tyler McGill. His last start, as Gary said, against the Phillies. Uh, quality start, six innings, three runs, only one walk and six strikeouts. Kyle Schwarber standing in from the left side. He'll lead things off. Three balls, no strikes from McGill. And ball four, he walks him on four pitches. He said Mundo Sosa playing shortstop in this game, and he hits one toward the middle, backhanded. Guillaume off to Lindor, the spin, the throw, he got him. Boy, watching those two in the middle of the infield, Guillaume and Lindor, that is just beautiful. You're not going to see a better double play turn. Perfect flip. Well done. Well, nicely done. Now here's Harper. Here's the 3 2. And it's a breaking ball, and it just missed inside. That's ball four. It was Real Muto who took McGill deep for a three-run home run to turn the tide of a game in Philadelphia last time out for McGill. And he chases a slider for strike three, and McGill's got his first strikeout and a zero in the first. And they will face Taiwan Walker, the former Met, six, uh, 19 and 16 with an ERA of 3.98 in his uh, handful of years here in New York. 15 wins, tied for sixth most in all of Major League Baseball. Ortega leads off second time this year. Ortega in place of Brandon Nimmo, who will not play anymore this year. And the 1-1 roll to the left side on into left field, a base hit. Another split from Walker, and Rafael Ortega is aboard. And here's Mauricio batting left-handed, his better side. One and two, great jump. Ortega runs, ground ball, base hit, left center field. Ortega can walk to third. He'll be held there by... Third base coach Joey Carr as the throw comes into second. And Ronnie Mauricio executes beautifully. So here's Alonzo with first and third and nobody out. There goes Mauricio first pitch. is grounded down to third. That's a fair ball. The throw will go to first. Picked out of the dirt by Harper. Ortega comes in to score, and it's 1-0 New York. Oh, and the Mets got a full throttle here. Here's Brett Beatty DHing in the game today. Up the middle, there's a base hit for Beatty. Mauricio will come in with the second run of the inning. Lindor trying to get to third. The throw by Pache is not in time. Brent Beatty with an RBI single, and it's 2 0 New York. And a sinker at him here and just stayed up. Didn't get any sink. So the Mets getting to Walker for a deuce early on, and Luis Guillorme, the batter. In the dirt, skips behind home plate, digging for the plate and scoring. Standing is Lindor as the flip from the catcher, Real Muto, is too late. Lindor scores on a wild pitch, a curve in the dirt, and it is three to nothing, New York. Marsh, the center fielder, 0 and 2, the pitch to Marsh, swung on and missed strike three, a fastball at 98. He just went right after Marsh with fastballs there. So Wilson, recently called up by the Phillies, has gone two for six. Right hand batter, the first pitch, hit on the ground to third, gobbled up by Mauricio, straightens and throws, in time, side retired. Narvaez leads off in the home second against Taiwan Walker. Narvaez hits one deep down the right field line toward the corner. It's out of here. Omar Narvaez with his second home run of the year. Just had enough to get into the camera well, and it's 4 0 New York. So Miguel again looking sharp. Now it's Christian Pache, right handed hitter. 1 2 to Pache. Swing and a miss. Got him with a changeup. A little elevated too. And Pache strikes out. Lost his helmet too on a big swing. So Miguel has struck out three. With two outs, Schwarber walked his first time. Strike three called. Schwarber caught looking at the fastball. Fourth strikeout for Miguel. He's retired seven straight. And here comes JT. Outfielders haven't really been busy today. There's two fly balls. That's it. That one's back toward the middle. Base hit to center field. And the Phillies have their first hit of the day. It comes with two outs here in the fourth. It's not lined out to center his first time. McGill's 1 1. Bouncing ball hit weekly to second base. Guillaume charges. He's got it. Flip to first in time. Inning over. 4 0 here is the uh, Phillies trail. The pitch from Taiwan Walker. He's hitting the air down the left field line. Long run for Jake Cave. Still on the run. He lays <laughs> out and makes a great catch. Nice diving grab right at the edge of the grass. and along the sidewall warning track and there's out number one and with one man away Weston Wilson will be the batter 2-2 two -two to Wilson strike three called McGill picks off the outside corner and Wilson not happy with Quinn Walcott's call five strikeouts from McGill two out of nobody on now Jake Cave will fly out to left his first time up 2-1 coming to Cave and he lifts this one to center field Ortega barely has to move one, two, three inning for Tyler and McGill halfway through. Four nothing New York. Sixth inning, four nothing New York. Christian Pache leads off. Foul tip, strike three. Pache down for the second time. That's six K's now for McGill. Here's Sosa. O two coming to Sosa. 
Struck him out. High fastball by McGill for his seventh strikeout of the day. He's got two out of the seventh today with a 4 nothing lead. And Marsh grounds one Alonzo. Right. Down to his knees to get it. Side retired. McGill matches his career high with seven scoreless innings. So Cave is 0 for 2 facing McGill who is pitching into the eighth inning for the first time in his big league career. And a line drive out to right field. That'll drop for a base hit. He fills it back to back hits for the first time. And that puts runners on first and second with nobody out here in the eighth inning. It's the first time all day that the Phillies have had a runner as far as second base. Fly ball shallow left. And a couple of strides is Mendick. Now that's the first out. So this is now officially the longest outing of McGill's career, seven and a third, and that's where it's going to end. So a job well done by McGill in his final start of the year. And now Rayleigh will come out of the bullpen to face Schwarber with two men on. Wilson at second, Cave at first with one out. Two two coming. And he got him looking. The front door slider caught him on the inside corner. Well now it's Sosa who is 0 for 3. Fly ball short left. Melnick on the run coming in. It's going to drop for a hit. One run is in. Rounding third holding there is Cave. Sosa was indecisive but he'll finally get to second and the Phillies are on the board. It's now a 4 1 game and the tying run is coming to the plate. So now it's Harper 0 for 2 of the walk 2 2 from Raley struck him out stayed with the slider through five in a row and he gets Harper to win the inning. Robuto in motion He's, uh, down to second and it'll bring up Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh hits one out toward left center field. That's well hit going back is Ortega and he's not going to get it. It's going to take a one hop over the wall a ground rule double a run scores and it's a 4 2 game. All right so here is Weston Wilson back toward the middle base hit it to center field. Marsh is around third heading for home. He's going to score. It's the second hit for Wes Wilson. RBI single the Phillies are within one it's four to three. Tying run a third and one out, two and two to Cave. Strike three call. Yeah. Got him looking at a fastball at the knees. That's a strike. Two out. Can't be taken. So now the Phillies are down to their final out. Christian Pache coming up. Fly ball, center field. Ortega's right there waiting. And the ball game is over. As the Mets take the opener of this final series from the Phillies, taking game one of the doubleheader four to three. 